downs, and it'll be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll try the right side with Bell. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Brings up third and three. What's that? The mic. 43 is the mic. Drop lady. Mike, 43. Darnold on third down. Got a man. It's Ross complete. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Jet first down. Now a first down carry by Bell. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. A first carry for Amir Abdullah. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So first and 10 now from the 30. Darnold from the gun. Dancing, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it second down and 12. On second down now. It's Bell. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Seventh play of this drive coming up. But a long way to go on third down. A shotgun snap for Darnold. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Oh, Patrick Peterson, the shutdown corner, was there on the coverage. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Been a bit of a dogfight thus far into the second quarter now, and we do have our first point. It's a field goal. Yeah, a lot of people say, wow, first action on the scoreboard about time to me. The action's been right there on the field, trying to figure out who could gain an advantage, gain some field position, finally get points on the board. I'm loving this kind of game. <laughs> it feels like kickers might play a big role in this one. Yes, make sure you give them the respect they deserve. They could cost you a game or win you one. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On second down, here's Murray. And he whips that one incomplete there. By the way, I got to apologize. 
guys because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Yeah, exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 43 is the mic. Quit talking about it and bring it. 43 is the mic. 43 is the mic. Go, go, go. Here's Darnold. Caught here by Bell. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 21 yards there on third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creep. And lady, safety's creeping. X3, 218, chop it. On first down, Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there and a jet first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. John Ross hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Jets will extend their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown, so decent-sized deficit early on. Oh, now Murray has it stripped, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now after the run by Bell, here's another first and 10. First and 10 at the 15-yard to throw is Darnold. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. 
John Ross with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets will extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. I know, but hold on, let me okay, my and You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Clinton Williams in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Murray going to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Matt Judon racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. Open man is Kirk, complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he's got his man. It's the tight end clay. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. A first down carry here for Johnson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Murray throwing on second down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they said I in the sky does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. 
It's complete to the tight end, Clay. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. On second and 15 now, Murray buying time to his left. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Throwing now is Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kevin White, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. They go for just one here as it's up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting. And the kick is away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. They had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Darnold. Open man is Anderson. There he goes, left side. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Robbie Anderson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? And got his man complete! And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Open man, Butler complete. A good pickup there of 20 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Kill, kill, kill. 
Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Again, it's Bell. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They'll run on first down. It's Bell, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle there by Patrick Peterson. On second down, Hilliard. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Going deep downfield for Ross, and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Come on out here. Come get some. Come on. Play action. Now it's Murray. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. Andy Isabella was the intended target. The Jets take over first and 10 at the 20-yard line. On first down, Bell. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll go again with Bell. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. That one good for 14 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. After the penalty, it's Bell. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Santos with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Hey. 
ready to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense and last time one play interception so this offense they should be fresh <laughs> that's a good way of probing it and I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller because a one play drive where you throw an interception a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 12 yards there and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Murray now to throw. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Murray now on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kevin White, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. And oh, it's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jets take over first and Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And Darnold wants to throw the football. This one caught by Crowder. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. It's caught at the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Robbie Anderson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jets will extend their lead. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Murray again, second and ten. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he finds his man, that's Butler. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Matt Judon, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Murray now. And the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the Cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now Murray. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. It's our time. It's our time. Alert three, alert three. Alert three, second. Murray, one final try. Now a desperation throw deep down, and this will be caught at the 30. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that will shave one more off this lead. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So for the Jets, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to four and five. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Arizona, their season is on life support somewhat now at three and six. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York.